Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year and thank you for all your support in 2020. Today I'm going to show you how we build this modern sofa. The inspiration came from Homemade Modern's video. The link will be in the description. First I cut all of the pieces that I'm going to use for the project. The base, backboard and supports for the backboard. Then, to give a modern look to it, I curved the edges using a jigsaw. I sanded everything with 40, then 180 and finally 240 grit sandpaper before I applied 3 coats of poly, sanding them with 320 grit sandpaper between each coat. When the poly dried, I glued the two pieces together that will be the seat of the sofa. I made sure they are perfectly aligned, then clamped them and added a couple of screws. Then I placed as much weight as I could on the surface and left it overnight for the glue to set. For the seat we used a small size mattress and foam for the back support. We had to cut the length of the foam to the size of the mattress. Here I show you how we calculated the size of the fabric we needed to make the cover for the foam, same applies to the mattress. The width is the same as the foam, the length will be equal to the length of the foam all the way around, we added an extra 3 cm for the zip. And this is the size of the two sides. First we had to sew the zip to both ends to the fabric. The length of the zip is the same as the width of the fabric. To make sure it stays in position, we clip the zip to it. When the zip was done, we just had to sew the sides of the cover to this. This is how it looks when it's done. The next day I started off with the legs of the sofa. These are heavy duty legs, bought them on Amazon, link will be in the description below and to the other products we used in the project. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when a new video is uploaded. Leave a comment and like the video to help YouTube's algorithm suggest our videos to others. We upload new content every Friday and Tuesday. After I installed the legs, I marked and drilled holes to the bottom of the sofa where I joined the seat and the backrest support using screws. I had to drill the holes to the half of the thickness of the seat since my screws were not long enough.
Then I clamped the long straight piece of wood to the other side. This helped me to screw the support exactly the same distance to the edge. I pre-drilled holes to prevent the wood from splitting. After this I screwed the backrest to these supports in the same way but using countersink this time. There are some folds on the plywood. Later I filled them with wood filler and sanded them down with the 240 grit sandpaper. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like and share the video. Hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload a new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram.